Welcome to a demonstration of the second Serial Dilution Interactive Illustration from SciencePrimer.com. The illustration explores changes in the volume and concentration of a solution over three dilution steps. A link to the illustration can be found in the video description. Prior to running, the illustration needs to be initialized with the Set Reset button. Once initialized, the main window shows four empty 10 milliliter cylinders. Volume is shown to the left of the first cylinder in 1 mil increments. At the top of the main window is a slider and a pull down menu that allow the initial concentration to be varied from 1 to 10 molar, millimolar, normal, or grams per milliliter. Changes in these values take effect when the set reset button is clicked again or when the first container is filled as described below. As each cylinder is filled, the volume and concentration of the solution is shown in the gray bars across the top. The buttons below the cylinder are laid out to move through a serial dilution, the steps of a serial dilution. The pull down menu at the bottom can be used to select between three different dilution factors. The initial setting is for a 1 to 10 or 10x dilution. The other options are a 1 to 5 or a 1 to 2. Order matters. Each button is meant to be clicked at a specific step in this process. The first step is to fill the first cylinder with the initial solution using the Fill 1 button. In this case, the first container is filled with, a t with 10 mils of a 10 molar solution. The first dilution is performed in two steps. First, an aliquot of the first solution is transferred from the first container to the second. The amount transferred will depend upon the dilution factor. For a 10x dilution, one mil will be moved, which is one-tenth of the volume of the second cylinder. For a 5x dilution, one-fifth, or two mils, will be moved. For the 2x dilution, one-half of the total volume, or five mils, will be moved. After the first transfer, the volume and concentration of the second container is shown at the top. Notice that the volume of the first container is reduced by the same amount. At this point, the concentration of the solutions in both containers is the same. To finish the first dilution in the series, the second container needs to be filled using the Fill 2 button. When this is done, the values reported across the top change. The second container now has 10 mils of the solution, and since we are doing a 10x dilution, the concentration is 10 times lower than what it is in the first container. The last two dilution steps are performed in the same way, by first transferring some of the solution from the previous container, then filling it with water to complete the dilution. The final button at the bottom allows you to empty the last filled cylinder at any time. This allows you to step backward through a dilution series the way you would in a lab. Diluted solutions cannot be reconcentrated, but as long as there is enough material left from previous dilution steps, each solution can be dumped and remade. If there's not enough material in the desired dilution step, you will be asked to try a higher dilution or to start over. This completes the demonstration. Thank you for watching and enjoy the illustration.